What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Angry J Gaming guys. Today I'm going to give you an updated tutorial on how to download and install mods into American Truck or Euro Truck Simulator. Now, I do have a video on this. It's a couple years old already. Um, that process is still the same. So if you guys are getting along with that and downloading mods just fine, great. See you later. Have a good day. Thanks for stopping by. But um, if you guys are brand new to, to mods or downloading mods, getting them into game, that is what I'm about to show you. So let's go ahead, guys, and jump into it right now. All right, guys, welcome back. Let's get going. So really the only thing that you guys are going to need in order to download mods and get them into your game is a uh, data compression software. Um, I like to use WinRAR. It is completely free. It does say, hey, after 10 days, you have to buy it or blah, blah, blah. I've had it for five years, guys. Never bought it. Um, every time I open it, it tells me I need to buy it. I just close it out completely free. Um, if you guys use 7-Zip or another program, that's great. Um, doesn't have to be this just whatever works for you and this is what has worked for me so you will need to download download one of these programs if you haven't just go to winrar.com download it follow the steps and uh use it and that's it that's all you're going to need so next thing we need to do guys is find us a mod now the biggest most important thing about downloading mods is making sure that the mod is in the correct version of the game uh, so for right now, American Truck Simulator, uh, we are in version 1.51. So anytime I'm going to look for a mod, I'm going to just type in ATS Mods 1.51. And as you can see, there's all kinds of different websites here to download from. Basically, all the websites are the same. They just look a little different. Now, the whole reason that these websites, we'll just click on one here. We'll just go to Modland. The whole reason these websites exist and why these mods are free is because they're making their money on all of these ads. They're hoping that you guys are going to just going to come in here and start clicking on stuff and, you know, go wherever on this web page and that's how they get paid. But we're not here to do that. We're just here to download a mod. So before we get to before we get any farther, I just want to let you know there is a chance that you guys could get a virus from downloading one of these mods or from one of these sites. Like I said, I've been doing it for five years. I have never, ever gotten a virus by doing this, but it could happen. Um, I also have antivirus software, and I kind of know what I'm doing. It is getting a little bit harder these days. That's why I'm making this video. So uh, just be aware, guys. If you're uncomfortable with it, either reach out to me before you ever do it, and I'll walk you through it, um, or just don't do it. So either way, guys, we're here. ATS 1.51 mods. Um, we're just going to go find a truck because that's what everybody wants to do. And look guys, I clicked on a truck and there's already an ad. Just because there's an ad doesn't mean you have to click on it. There's always a little X somewhere. So we're just gonna get rid of it. And now it's bringing up, um, looks like the last updated mods here, which is nice. And uh, we're just gonna find us a truck to uh, to download. Um, and see, this was you know six days ago. No uh, reviews yet. This one was up a week ago with only two stars. You know, these, um, these reviews do matter. A lot of people download these and play this game. So it's, you know, I do pay attention to the reviews. I don't really see anything on that page that um, really caught my eye. Um, uh, Mac Pinnacle, we got that in game. Freightliner FLD, here we go. This is, an, this is a cool truck. Now, um, on these mod sites, you'll, you'll tend to notice whichever site you're on, you might see the same modder over different websites and this guy right here his name is cyrus the virus okay the the name is a great name but not a not a name you would think or you would want when you're downloading mods by having virus in your name but he's been around i've been doing this for five years he's been around this whole time i have usually makes a good truck now this one was added two weeks ago um no reviews been downloaded 331 times one like I don't know, guys. I don't know if it's going to be a good truck or not. It's a chance when you're downloading these free mods, whether it's good or not. Um, so, all right. So you're in here, right? You're you got your truck 
Um, we're going to get this one. You're looking around. Where do I go to download? And again, don't just start clicking on everything. And it looks like this is what we are, uh, what we're going to want right here. Uh, this Freightliner FLD. So we're going to click on that. Now it did pop up a second window, which is okay. And again, you're going to kind of look through. Your download will be available in one second. Um, great login to have no waiting time. Don't don't ever log in. You don't need to do any of that. Um, we're just going to click right back here on this same link. Uh, and there it is. It popped up to generate a link right here. Now, sometimes it's going to pop up some other windows, maybe some other pages. And if that happens, guys, just close them. And then you come right back to that same link and hit it again until you get something that does say generate. Now, you know, a few years ago, that didn't happen. You have to generate the link. It would just work. But now this typically happens. So um, this looks like what we're going to want here. So we're going to hit that generate link. And it's going to start up. And now it says we can download. So we're going to try and see what happens. Um, so once again, I mean, it's, it's just more ads, right? We haven't started the download process yet. Um, but we're going to go ahead and click on it one more time. And there it went, guys. So we started with one window by clicking on this file, brought us to another one, clicked on the same file, brought us up to generate a link, but it did work and it is it is in there. So that is just one example of that. I'm going to go ahead and actually jump onto a different uh, web page here. We'll go to ATS mod nets because I'm just going to try to show you guys a couple ways that this happens because it's not the same, right? These, these, these web pages don't look exactly the same. They don't work exactly the same. Um, so this is a uh, ATS, what I say, uh, ATS mod.net. I've been here before. Usually works pretty good. Um, I don't know guys, let's, let's grab a trailer here quick. Why not? So we're just going to click on trailers. Uh, it's thinking about loading and I'm not sure it's taking so long. There it goes. Um, so this is kind of cool. ATS military cargo pack, cargo and traffic pack. I mean, these military packs are kind of cool by Jazzy Cat. If you guys are unfamiliar with that, I've, I've ran those a lot of times. Get some pretty cool uh, military cargo. Haven't done that actually in a while. Uh, so this looks like it is the most current. Well, no, this one is 9, 9, 20 second, 24. So we're going to go with this one right here. Um, yeah. The other thing is to make sure it's in 1.51. This one says oh, up here. Yeah, 1.51 exclusive. Okay, so we're good. So we're going to click on this. This website's uh, taking a while to load here. <clears throat> so we've downloaded a truck. We're going to download a trailer again. I'm just kind of showing you a couple different ways on how this works. Uh, and then all we need to do, guys, is just get it into our game and uh, start the game up. So there we go. Finally loaded. So as you can see, this website or this page looks a little bit different than the last one. Um, but again, it's got a big download right here. Most likely, that's probably not what we want. Um, click to download, start to download, install the app. Never want to install the app. Um, this one is probably what we want here. It says download mods, and it has a link. Oh, but there's another link down here. Uh, again, guys, these, these still kind of confuse me. Credits, Jazzy Cat. I'm going to go with this one because it, you know, it talks about it here. It gives credits and then it has this link. So let's try this one. And cool. There we go. So it prop popped right up, um, to the generate link, which is good. I was hoping it would give me a couple block of uh, pop-ups I could uh, show you to get rid of. It looks like it's going right into a, uh, generate. So I'm just, I'm just kind of clicking on that same, um, and there's an ad. I'm just clicking on that same one. Now, Here's one, guys. So this brought up a separate window, downloader. Your file is ready, right? You don't necessarily need that. Just click out of it and go right back to that same link. Click on it again, and look what happened. I know it's pretty fast and it happens quick, but I hit that to download. It brought up a separate window. I closed it, went back, clicked on download again, and it started to work. So it's it's done. Guys, that's an example of those pop-ups trying to get you. So. Again, it's not just a step one, step two, step three, click exactly here every time. You just kind of have to learn how to read between the lines. So there we go. We've got both of our 
mods downloaded. Now we need to get them into the game. Now there's a couple different ways you can do this, but I try to make these videos for um, everybody and that way you guys can all do it. So um, the best way I know, or the easiest way I think to do it is open up your file folder, um, click here on your downloads and you'll see what you've downloaded today. So in our case, there's our military cargo and there is our, uh, the truck that we downloaded. So there it is guys. All I did was take it from the download folder and uh, put it over there <clears throat> onto the desktop. Now for again, the, you guys that are completely brand new, you've never put any mods into your folder. I am now going to show you the path in order to put those mods in. So over here again on your file folder, you want to go on to uh, my documents and you're going to go to American truck simulator and you're going to go to mod. Now you can see I have a bunch of mods in here, but most likely your file, your folder should be open or clear. There shouldn't be anything in here. Um, so once again, that, that process is my documents, American truck simulator, and then mod. Now, while you're here, if you're going to continue to put mods into your game, you want to go ahead and pin that mod folder over here like mine. So while you're in documents, American truck or Euro truck simulator, I forgot to mention, it's the exact same process for Euro truck. It's just documents, Euro truck simulator mod. So now that we're here, we want to pin it. So we're going to click on the three little dots and hit uh, pin to quick access. So that's going to put it right here. So now the next time you go to download a mod, you can bring it here, drag it on your desktop and then just click right on mod, right? So there's your folder. You're already in it. Now, the next thing you need to do is put it into the folder, and that is as easy as clicking and dragging and putting in here. Now, one thing to watch out for is in the past, you've been able to put a mod inside a mod. So always just make sure I drop them in over here off to the side in the gray area. Let me pull this up so you guys can see. So I just pulled it over, dropped it in, and there it sits. So I'm going to do the same thing with the cargo pack, bring it over, drop it, and there it is. So that's it guys. You've downloaded the mod. You've got it into the game. If you're experienced, all you need to do now is uh, activate the mod. You're good to go. Uh, but for everybody else, we're going to go ahead and jump into the game and I'm going to show you how to activate that. So uh, let's get in there. Uh, while that's loading up guys, um, I do just want to take a moment. If this video does help you, uh, please hit that subscribe button, drop a comment, um, a like, whatever it is. Check out the page in general, guys. I've got all kinds of tutorial videos on there uh, about American Truck Simulator. We've got some live videos. And in the future, guys, I'm working on a lot of new stuff, uh, new ways to skin trucks, put logos on trucks. Um, and this includes all the SCS trucks, and we will do your paid mod trucks like John Ruda, Roland, any of that stuff. So keep an uh, lookout for that coming to the channel here very, very soon. And uh, I just appreciate all the support. All right, guys, so you're in here. You got your uh, profile that you want to go to. You're just going to click on mods. In my case, I have two active ones that aren't actually there anymore, so don't worry about that. So um, as you can see, I've got a bunch of mods in here, but we're only concerned with these two. So what we essentially need to do is get the mod from here and put it over there into the active mods. And the easiest way to do that, guys, is just double click on it. I just left double clicked. It made it active. It put it over here. I'm going to do the same thing with this military cargo pack and uh, just double click on it. And there it is. So there's our truck. There's our cargo packs and hit confirm changes and continue. And that's it. So I'm just going to jump in here and uh, just to see that the truck is there. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. I had some mods in there that I was playing around with and I took them out. So that's all that is. You don't have to worry about that. Do, do, do. Come on. And uh, once again, thank you guys for uh, checking out the channel. I hope this video does help you. <clears throat> I think I should have uh, restarted my computer before I made this video. I'm running a little slow today. All right, guys. So we have a truck in the game. So now you might go, well, where's my truck? You say, well, I downloaded uh, a Kenworth or a Peterbilt. So I need to go to the Peterbilt or the Kenworth dealership. But that's not true. Um, once you download a mod, you should have this access mod dealer pull up here. So you're going to click on that and there is our Freightliner. So any of the downloaded mods, you'll have that access download access mod folder. 
and they will be right here. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. So there's our truck. I'm not gonna customize it or do anything to it, but there it is. Looks like it's there. Um, I guess really we're not gonna be able to see. Um, yeah, maybe we will. I'm not sure about that cargo pack. If we can actually see it in the game here, maybe we'll get lucky. Um, so that cargo pack I downloaded is pretty cool by Jazzy Cat. And it should just pull up as in the freight market here, but I might have to sleep a couple times. So it's kind of a bad example to use. But uh, I'm sure it's in there. It works. Uh, I'll just try one more spot. Catch him. Doesn't look like it. So I'm sure it's in there. But either way, guys, that's really it. Um, now you guys can download mods, install them into American Truck or Euro Truck Simulator, hopefully safely. Um, hopefully this video did help once again, and if it did, make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, check out the rest of the channel. So that's it. All right, guys. Until next time, you know what it is. See ya.